Good day, 3CZ1 and uh, everyone else. I'm making this video to show you how to find averages of data on 30 second intervals. If you are new to my channel, please click on the subscribe button to support me to make more videos to help other people just like you. If this video has helped you, any donations to support this channel are welcome by using the PayPal link in the description. So I have um, copied the data that you have provided and extended it a bit. Um, so the first step is to convert all these uh, numbers to proper um, hour, minute, seconds uh, um, data. So to do that, right? So I have already done this. So, but I will just show you how to do it again. So. You have to go to format format cells and then go to time and then I select uh, the second option. Your initial data is something like this uh, with the PM um, uh, PM right after the seconds. So I have just put a space in between the seconds and uh, PM. Um, so to, to make a one minute, one minute interval is easy. I will sh show you how to do it in a, another video, but this video is just specifically for, um, 30 seconds interval. Um, so what you do is, um, you have to insert two more columns, like what I've done in, uh, here in source two heat. Um, so the first, the, the second column, right, is a formularized column. So what you want to do is um, average, um, uh, sorry, round, round the um, time in uh, column one. So one, one, uh, first, uh, one o'clock, uh, three minutes and 39 seconds, we be uh, come a uh, one hour three minute and thirty seconds when it's rounded. So you can see um this is the formula to round it to um thirty seconds. So it's uh m round open bracket the time right a two comma one over twenty four times sixty times two, right? Uh, this will give you um thirty seconds um uh, rounding, right? One over twenty four is for uh hour, right? Times sixty is for minute interval, and then you have to times two again to make it like thirty seconds interval. So once you have this, right, it's not enough because um, uh, 1 p.m. 3 minutes and 39 will, will be, um, sorry, um, okay, let's compare this, these two, right? If you round this two up, it will be in the same uh, time um, interval, which, which, which is not what you want. What you want is 30 second interval. This one, it will become a, a mini interval eventually, right? So what you do is uh, you have to build in another column, right? If it's, if this time is less than uh, time two, so we group it into uh, one o'clock, three min and 59, right? And uh, if it's um, more, right, let's say um, 10411, right, it's more than uh, time two, right, you, you, you group it into uh, the next 30 second interval. So this one actually, I, yeah, if, if this is not 
suitable you can change it to uh, uh you can change the formula a bit to make it uh, uh group group into the next uh 30 second interval um then uh after that it's easy right what you do is just uh, pivot the data using the time tree column and the, uh, the, 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 the two other two columns. You go to uh, insert, you go to uh, pivot table. All right, press OK. You bring your time tree in the rows. You bring your solar radiation, you bring your rainfall. Uh, what you do is just double click on uh, just one click and the solar radiation you go to value field settings uh, select average right do it with your sum of rainfall as well average right um you can also uh change the number format to give you two decimal place if you want right yeah so um this is it so you have like every 30 second interval and you have the average um i hope this uh, video has helped you please remember to subscribe or you donate if that pleases you thank you so much hope this helps Bye-bye.